Hey guys, in this video we are going to be solving systems of equations using the elimination method. However, in order to be able to eliminate a variable, we are going to have to multiply both equations to make that happen. So let's take a look at the coefficients that are in front of each of the variables. In front of x, we've got 5 and 4. Both signs, are, the signs are the same, they're both positive. Um, so that doesn't look very appealing to me as a, as a way to approach this problem. I'm probably going to look at my y values and see if I can eliminate y. I have a negative 3 and a positive 5. Well, we can multiply both of those numbers by a different value to make them both 15. So I'm going to make the negative 3 turn into negative 15 by multiplying this entire equation by 5. That will help us eliminate. And then the bottom equation, I want to make this positive 5 a positive 15. So I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by 3. All right? So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, you do need to distribute this number to every term in the equation so that you can complete the elimination. So 5 times 5x is going to give us 25x. 5 times negative 3y is negative 15y. And then 5 times 16 is 80. Let's distribute the 3 to the bottom equation. 3 times 4x is going to give us 12x. 3 times 5y is positive 15y. There's your elimination. And then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, so we created this situation now that when we combine negative 15y and positive 15y, we should be able to eliminate the y variable and solve for x. So 25x and 12x is going to give us 37x. Our y is eliminated and 80 minus 6 is going to give us 74. Then we just divide both sides of the equation by 37, and that is going to give us x equals 2. So we've got our x coordinate. Let's go back and substitute 2 in for x to get our y value. So I'm going to use the top equation, 5x minus 3y equals 16. And I'm going to substitute 2 in for x. So 5x minus 3y equals 16. Now all I have to do is solve for y. So I'm going to multiply 5 times 2. That's going to give me 10 minus 3y equals 16. Inverse operations, I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. I'm going to have negative 3y equals 16 minus 10 is 6, and divide both sides by negative 3. So I'm going to get y equals negative 2. So I've got an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate as my solution to the system. So my solution would be an ordered pair, which is 2, negative 2. Let's try one more example where we're having to multiply both equations. All right, looking at the coefficients, everything here is positive as far as the coefficients go. So I am going to also have to change signs because remember, we need like coefficients with opposite signs on the same variable. So um, I've got a 3 and a 2 here. I can make those both 6. One would have to be negative. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go that route to, to eliminate x. So let's do that. So to make the 3, I'm going to make this 3 a 6, a positive 6, so I'm going to multiply this whole equation by 2. Now I need to make this 2x, I need to make it a negative 6x. So I'm going to multiply by negative 3. So we are going to have to change signs on the second equation. All right, remember, you need to distribute to every term in the equation. So 2 times 3x is going to give us 6x. 2 times 2y is positive 4y. And then 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Let's distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times 2x, negative 6x. Negative 3 times 5y is negative 15y. And negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. All right, so now we have got a situation where we can eliminate x because 6x combined with negative 6x is 0, which is what we were going for there. Let's combine 4y and negative 15y. That's going to give us negative 11y. And then combine negative 12 and negative 21, and we get negative 33. We're going to divide both sides by a negative 11 using inverse operations to solve. 
y is going to equal positive 3. Now we do need to substitute back into the, one of the two original equations to get our x value. I'm going to use the second equation here, 2x plus 5y equals 7, and we are going to substitute 3 in right here for y. So that's going to be 2x plus 5y is 3 equals 7. Multiply 5 times 3 is 15. We are going to use inverse operations now to solve for x. So subtract 15 from both sides. We are going to get 2x equals negative 8. 7 minus 15 is negative 8, and then divide by 2. So we are going to get that x equals negative 4. So we've got our ordered pair now, our x and our y value. For the system of equations, our solution should be negative 4, 3. Good job, and I hope this video was helpful.